I don't even think I could count how many students have been involved with Peninsula Dance Theater. Thousands. My, my grandma started the school in 1964. She has such a connection with the community. It's just a really great experience. To start with the history, you kind of have to start with Gormanton Dance Center in 64. She had 30 students in the basement of her home. The business flourished right away and she continued to grow. And in 1969, she decided to purchase this building and she moved the school to the building as her student body grew. My name's Mallory Morrison. I'm the studio director of Bermuda Dance Center and the artistic director of Peninsula Dance Theater. I run all the programs here at the school and the company. I teach classes and I run the office. This is my grandmother. Lawan Morrison. She is the founding director of both organizations and she did everything that I do now. <laughs> the, the theater has meant so much to our family and not just our immediate family but the families that we build within our dance community. My grandma would always teach classes and she would sit at the front and, and, and I do the same thing now. I, I sit at the front and watch the overall view of what is being produced. A lot of times when my dad was younger, he would do the stage manager and he would lay out the floor and it was really a great way for all of us to come together and create something magical for the students in the community. And as we've grown, a lot of those spots have changed from family members to volunteers. And with them, we have created relationships that have lasted decades and decades. We really build a family and a community within the organization. I think my grandma was probably one of the few and far between of women who owned businesses in her day. It was uncommon for a woman to go to college, to work, and to own a business was something unheard of in the 60s. And, and she didn't care. She did it. it. It didn't matter if she was getting paid or, or making an income. What mattered is that she was able to offer dance and it was very important for her to share that love of the arts. I think because of the work that she has put in, it has created more opportunities for women in the arts. She worked in the high school and the junior high programs and within the community, just bringing dance. And of course, over time, pay then became a standard. Because of her, I feel like a lot of women artists are now able to have an income while doing something that they are passionate about. Her values lay with me in creating an affordable community of dance for Bermonton. Our studio, uh, we offer all sorts of different classes. As far as the company goes, we go into the community and perform. So we offer performance experience. Each year we hold a ballet that is based off of a storybook and we create a 30 minute ballet and take it into an elementary school. We'll perform it to music. The children of the school get to kind of see how the production is put together. Most often, this will be the only dance that they will be exposed to. And the same thing goes for our annual uh, Nutcracker matinee that we put on in uh, December. We hold an assembly at Bermonton High School with a one hour production of our Nutcracker. And about 1,200 kids will come in. I get to see what happens behind the scenes. We pull open the curtains, we show them how it snows, we bring out our actors and show them how their costumes work. And they get to kind of see how the stage and the theater work together with our performance. Dance touches and extends beyond our school every day. And it's important because we can take our passion and spread the arts in their communities. I think the benefits of pursuing dance as an art form is it helps create balance in your life. I think it creates balance um, physically and mentally. And so for many of our teenage dancers, they're here five, six days a week training. 
and balancing schoolwork and balancing their social life and regardless if they go on to be a professional, um, they're going to use the skills that they learn through our company uh, and through their training on balancing their lives later. I've been performing with PDT for six years now and it's been a really good experience. I'm excited to do it because I love it. I don't think I would have been able to get this experience anywhere else. I've been in so many performances. I've been able to take classes from so many different teachers too, and it's helped me a lot. Everybody here works incredibly hard. We all come together, really good working with each other, and in the end, everybody loves performing. Working hard all together is what we do. I'm Chris Williams. I've been a long-term performer with Peninsula Dance Theater for many years. I started here in November 1st, 1980. It is so much about the people. This is a very inclusive, creative place. I've gotten to work with world-class choreographers. Even though I had an engineering career, I was able to dance as much as I could stand, as much as just about any professional dance. It's very fulfilling. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, well, uh, this year, Peninsula Dance Theater is celebrating their 50th anniversary. I can remember when I was younger, I would go out to lunch with my grandma and somebody would stop her every single time. They would just talk about their experiences that they had with her. And she goes, I know their face, but I don't remember their name. And I can't remember which decade they were here. <laughs> and she just, she has such a connection because of the 50 years that she's been with Peninsula Dance Theater. Aside from having dancers go on to be professional, we've had people go on to be professors and teach dance in college. We have some that are running their own schools now. We have a dancer running an arts foundation in New York now. They will take that passion and spread their knowledge in their communities. Ballet is not just for kids. Uh, I have people start at all ages. We have a thriving adult program right now. My classes are full for both my adult ballet and our adult tap program. And we're looking for ways to expand that even more. It's so great to see the amount of progress that they will have between their first class and in a year to two years. Ballet is just a great way to feel strength and beauty in one. And I think it's a great challenge for anyone at any age. We put on five productions a year. We do our season opener, which we are holding uh, September 30th this year, and we're really excited about it. We're expecting it to um, sell out very quickly. We also hold Nutcracker every year. We do a choreography showcase. That's the performance where we bring lots of different styles of dance on stage. We bring in um, world-renowned choreographers. This is where we have our students create work. You'll usually see one or two student works on stage and they get to have their work presented. And then we close our year out with a spring ballet. Um, this year we're going to be doing Capella. And uh, to get more information on that, you can visit our website, peninsuladancetheater.org.